Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Welcome to my channel Understand Tech here. Pointer is often considered one of the most confusing features in programming. However, confusions often stem from not clearly understanding fundamental but simple concepts. In this video, I am going to explain fundamentals of Pointer in an easy to understand step by step manner. So let's start. Before continuing with the video, let's give a quick shout out to GoLogin, the best browser for multi-accounting. If you are into online money making, as you all know, you often need to create multiple social media accounts like YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, to name few. And the problem lot of you might face is unexpected account bans. Well, you now have the perfect tool called GoLogin, the best browser for multi-accounting. Be sure to check the link provided in the description to find more information. Before we can discuss pointer, you need to clearly understand what happens when you declare variables. So let's look at a program. Probably you already know all open documents and data that are currently being used are in RAM which stands for random access memory. Logically, you can think of RAM as a device having many locations to store data, like this. Each location has a location number, just like rooms in a hotel can have a room number. This location number is called address. Now let's see what really happens when you declare a variable. When you do int number, some location in RAM is reserved or allocated to you. Let's say this location is reserved. Now the name of this location will be number and hence you can refer and use this location through the name number. Now let's say uh, you enter some number, let's say 5. Generally you say 5 is stored in a variable number, right? But what really happens is 5 will be stored in the locations to which earlier we have given the name number. So, 5 is actually stored here. A pointer is a variable that holds an address of another variable. Let me repeat. A pointer is a variable that holds an address of another variable. Since it holds an address of another variable, it points to some variable. And since it points to some variable, that's why name pointer. Let's clarify this point with an example. Let's look at the program. This is the output of this program. Um, I have used a simple program called Quincy 2005 to write, compile and um, execute this program. This is a memory diagram along with address of locations in memory. Now let's go through a program. This is a declaration of normal variable. As we explained earlier, when we declare a variable, some location in memory will be reserved. Let's say this memory is reserved. Now the name of this memory or location will be num. This is a declaration of a pointer variable. How do you know this is a declaration of pointer variable? Well, there is a static sign before a variable name. So, 
when there is a static sign before a variable name you should understand that it's a pointer variable declaration now when you declare a variable doesn't matter whether it's a normal variable or a pointer variable some location in memory will be reserved let's say in this case this memory is reserved name of this location will be p we are asked to enter a number let's say we enter 10 10 will be stored here A is a normal variable and hence we are placing the value of a variable num in variable A. Now remember how we have defined a pointer variable earlier. It's a variable that holds an address of another variable. Hence not value in a variable but its address should be placed in a pointer variable. P is a pointer variable. And hence we are placing the address of variable num well how can you tell in fact you are placing address of variable num this operator is called address operator and it gives address of a variable if I had not used this operator then yes I would have been placing value in variable num which though I soon do What's the address of variable num? 6356748. Where have you put this address in? In location P. So did you understand what happened here? If not, please pause the video for a few moments and try to understand what happened here. Okay, now let's analyze the output given by this program. When you do printf num, you get this. When you do printf ampersand num, you get this. Why? As explained before, when you use this operator, it gives address of that variable what's the address of variable num it's 6356748 when you do printf p you get this why because as explained before we have placed address of variable num in variable p what is the address of variable num it's 6356748 when you do printf asterisk p you get this why here is the key thing to understand Asterisk is an indirection operator. One more time. Asterisk is an indirection operator. When you use asterisk before a variable, it means not the value of a pointer variable, but the value in the location where the pointer variable is pointing at. So where the pointer variable P is pointing at? At location 63. 56748 what value is in that location 10 that's why when you do printf asterisk p you get 10 now when you do printf ampersand p you get this why because this operator gives address of a variable what is the address of variable p it's 
6356744. Where are you placing 20? In variable P? No. As explained above, we are placing 20 in the location where the variable P is pointing at. We are placing 20 where? We are placing 20 in the locations where the variable P is pointing at. Where P is pointing at? Look at the diagram. It's pointing at 6356748. Hence, 20 will be placed here replacing old value 10. Finally, when you do printf num, what do you get? You get 20. How's today's video? Please leave your comments and suggestions below. I would be posting videos like this on various programming topics. So please do consider subscribing to my channel. So this was for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in next one.